Well, the next project is we're going to build, uh, well, it's a tack hanger or a coat hanger uh, for a barn. And we still have this uh, beautiful barn wood. We still have a few pieces of this left. And this is a rough cut one by four. Uh, you can see the circular patterns of the old sawmill that cut it. And we'll make a backing of that and then uh, probably make the hooks out of steel. I usually start out at my junk pile. Uh, I save all the old fasteners from projects because it's just uh, it's kind of fun to dig through them and find something. So we're looking for you know something that we can make coat hooks out of. It'd be nice if it had a bend to it, or we could we could angle it up off of off of the flat iron. Something like this would be great. A bent over um, old carriage bolt. And if we could find enough of those, we need four of them uh, with about that same bend or put that same bend in them, then we can weld that to a piece of flat iron uh, and then mount that to our, our barn. We've got those, uh, we were able to find four of those carriage bolts. There's actually six of them. Uh, we used four of them, tried to find the ones with about the same bend. Must have been on something that I had to beat the fasteners out of because they were all bent in about the same way. Welded those up onto a piece of just flat iron and painted it painted it flat black uh, with rust oleum and we ended up uh, just sanding down a bit of that piece of barn wood. You can see the circular saw marks in it from the old uh, mill that milled up this piece of wood. Beautiful piece, uh, tight grain amazing old growth type Douglas fir and we're gonna mount our coat hook to it and give it a little bit of background and texture and I think that'll be a nice piece. Well we've got it mounted to the wall here in the tack room uh, and as you can see it lends, lends itself well and it's functional and it's pretty heavy duty uh, so it makes a great coat hook or tack rack. And beside it here, what we had, these are mule uh, shoes, but you can do it with any kind of shoe from pony all the way up to uh, the biggest size you can get. But you just cut one shoe in half and weld the half to uh, another shoe, and it, it makes a great, great rack. Uh, farriers will have big bins of uh, recycled shoes. I, I actually ended up buying these. Uh, from the hardware store because I wanted a bigger shoe like that and the farrier didn't have any but they usually have a whole bunch that they recycle and uh, and don't mind giving you a few but this will be a you can never have enough hooks in a in a tack room some additional information I, I know this is a very simple thing and don't need to explain it to you guys but just uh, one couple of things that I've learned this is a pony size uh, uh, horseshoe and it's it's great for uh, for most anything it's great size but I I just again cut cut it cut one of them in half weld it to it and then I'll bore through the nail holes that are already there that are cast in place I'll bore a bigger hole for a for a larger fastener and these work really well they sit up against uh, a surface nice and flat and they don't wobble around with screws on either side and it's just a real simple uh, recycled way to make coat hooks or tack hooks or, or whatever you need.